yeah, yeah, uh, a, years. a couple of years ago. And she called me like, something's up with that. I go, what, what do you mean? She's like, oh, dude, Kim used to tell me like, it was a bad, it was a bad, like there's a lot of weird shit that I didn't even know that like, but they were like, you know, they'd do photo shoots together or whatever. They were, they were sort of friendly. Like they'd, yeah. they'd hang out, like we'd see them out downtown and like I'd hang out with her. Not so much with, I think it was already sort of over there, but like she was really afraid of him. And it really, yeah, like this goes back years. And so like, and she was having these conversations with my ex. I was like, oh, my God. Welcome to the realm where tonight we're diving deep into the life of Sean Diddy Combs, a figure synonymous with success and controversy in the music world. From his incredible rise to fame to his most personal trials and the shocking allegations made by Donald Trump Jr. We are peeling back the layers of this multi-phase story. Sean Combs, better known as Diddy, started from humble beginnings and climbed to the top of the music empire. He's not just a producer, he's a performer and entrepreneur who changed the game of hip-hop and beyond. But every big name has their share of big challenges. Amidst the glitz and glamour, Diddy found love with Kim Porter. Their relationship was filled with ups and downs. But through it all, they shared a bond that brought into the world three beautiful children. Porter, a model, actress, and longtime partner of music mogul Sean Diddy Combs, passed away unexpectedly on November 15, 2018, at her home in Toluca Lake, California. She was 47 years old. The official cause of death was reported as lower pneumonia, an inflation in the entire lobe of the lungs, which can be severe and life-threatening if not treated promptly. Porter had been reportedly feeling unwell in the weeks leading up to her death, suffering from flu-like symptoms that are exacerbated just days before she died died. The news of her death sent shockwaves through the entertainment industry and deeply affected those close to her, including Diddy, who shared three children with Porter, son Christian, and two daughters Delilah and Jesse. Diddy also helped raise Quincy, Porter's son from a previous relationship who he considered as his own. Sean Diddy Combs and Kim Porter had a long, complex relationship that spanned over two decades. They began dating in the mid-1990s, and their relationship was characterized by its on-again, off-again nature. Despite their occasional breakups, they maintained a strong bond and a deep connection, driven largely by their shared responsibilities and love for their children. Their relationship was not without its challenges and public scrutiny, but those close to the couple often spoke of a genuine love and respect between them. Diddy has publicly described Kim as his soulmate and has often been vocal about the profound impact she had on his life, both as a partner and the mother of his children. Following her death, did he express immense grief and pay tribute to Porter in numerous posts on social media, highlighting the deep sense of loss he felt and the unbreakable bond they shared. In his own words, following her passing, Diddy stated, For the last three days, I've been trying to wake up out of this nightmare. But I haven't. I don't know. Trump detailed how he received a call from Kay after Porter died in 2018, with her describing their relationship as weird. Trump also claimed that his wife was extremely afraid of Diddy based on alleged stories she would hear from Kim. My ex-wife was a model in NY and she was really good friends with Kim Porter, who was Diddy's wife, the one who died at 47 from pneumonia, he told AK. When Kim died, she called me, like, something is up with that. I said, what do you mean? She said, Kim used to tell me it was a bad. There was a lot of bad shit. I didn't even know, but Kim and Vanessa would do photo shoots together. They were friendly. We would hang out when we see them downtown. Not so much with Diddy. She was really afraid of him. This goes back years, and Kim was having these conversations with my ex. Me up. Diddy said, it was a total shock and a surprise, and it really, really woke me up just as far as it just turned everything upside down. He said about Porter's death, it was the craziest, most traumatic thing I've ever been through. When they say it hits home or gets deep or your world gets turned upside down, it was all of that in one. When asked if he had any regrets about what happened with his and Porter's relationship, did he said, I wasn't being honest all the way. Honest with my love for her, to myself, and even to other people that I was in a relationship with. I don't have no regrets how things went, they went the way God wanted them to go. But I was playing with love and it's not really to be played with. I definitely took granted that she would just be with me forever. 
Diddy had also told Essence that after hearing about Porter's death, he jumped into mommy mode. He said, I sent people in every direction to try to make sure the kids would not hear about it on social media or the news. I had to get to the girls' school and find Quincy who was on set in Atlanta. Christian was on a plane and I had his phone disconnected so he wouldn't read in the air. Every time Kim and I talked, it was about the kids. It was what she cared about the most. We check in as friends, of course, but we never had a conversation that didn't include the kids. It was like some superhero shit. I ain't even gonna lie. On some level, I knew she was training me for this, he said. I knew that I had to be ready to do whatever I was supposed to do if something like this ever happened. There was screaming and crying when I heard the news. Of course, I had to ask myself, what would Kim do? I was scared, and I was crying out to God and to her. And almost immediately, Kim's voice kicked in, and I could hear her saying, make sure you take care of my babies. But here, things took a sensational turn when Donald Trump Jr., in an interview with academics, made a jaw-dropping claim. He suggested that Diddy might have been involved in Kim's untimely death. These allegations shook the tabloids and added a dark twist to an already tragic story. Right after that interview, people blew up the internet and a big number started supporting Diddy and took his side. One person said, using a white man to defame a black man in hip hop who wasn't even found guilty of anything is disgusting. AK is a clown. A, a lot of people believe that whatever happened there happened with the, the woman afterwards, which was Cassie. And then supposedly- No, it, like, like I said, like, I didn't, you sort of don't think about these things until now you like, you go back and you're like, holy crap. Like I distinctly remember when my, Vanessa was like, calls me and was like, hey man, Kim Porter died. I go, what? Like we saw her like a couple of weeks, whatever it was, it was, you know. And, and she goes, yeah, man, there, she was sort of always in fear of something happening. And I was like, you know, maybe it's natural, but like not a lot of people die at 47 of pneumonia. Like, you know what I mean? It's like. Wow. Uh, especially people who, you know, obviously good shape. There's, there's a shit ton of rumors. Claiming that Donald Trump Jr. was a liar and has a not so clean history. Someone tweeted, Diddy has dirt on Donald Trump Jr. Why else would he be talking about Diddy? And others were cheering academic for hosting this interview as the backlash is feeding his rates and fame. This interview was funny and good at the same time. AK Peyron just went up. I'm happy to see this brother succeed. This is a big move for AK. How did these claims come? Come about and what impact did they have on Diddy and those close to him? Let's answer them together. Concerning the fact that Diddy had more relationships in the past with a bad history and allegations, this leaves people in question and doubt, wondering if the case of Kim Porter was any different or he was the cause of her death, as the past history indicates. Sean Diddy Combs has been a prominent figure in the entertainment industry for decades and his personal life has often been as high profile as his professional achievements. His relationships in particular have frequently been in the spotlight. Some of his most notable relationships were with Miss Hilton Brim, Diddy's high school sweetheart and the mother of his first child, Justin. Their relationship set the stage for his later more public relationship. Second, Jennifer Lopez, perhaps one of his most famous relationships. Diddy and Lopez were a tabloid sensation in the late 1990s and early 2000s. Their relationship ended shortly after they were involved in a nightclub shooting incident in 1999, which led to illegal troubles for Diddy. Third, Cassie Ventura, after his relationship with Kim Porter, Diddy dated singer Cassie on and off for over a decade. Their relationship was marked by rumors of engagement and breakups until they officially parted ways in 2018. Some of the legal issues and controversies Diddy was facing were the nightclub shooting from 1999, where Diddy was arrested in connection with a shooting at a New York City nightclub. He was acquitted of all charges, but the incident brought significant negative publicity. Allegations of aggression Diddy has faced various accusations over the years related to aggressive behavior. For instance, in 1999, he was accused of assaulting record executive Steve Stout with a champagne bottle over a dispute concerning a music video. Recent allegations by exes. More recently, Diddy has faced allegations from ex-girlfriends including physical abuse claims. His ex, Cassie, has not publicly accused him of physical abuse, but their breakup led to speculation about the nature of their relationship. The recent allegations by Donald Trump Jr. suggesting that Diddy might have been involved in Kim Porter's death seem to draw from Diddy's past relationship dynamics and controversies. While there is no concrete evidence supporting these claims, pattern of intense and sometimes tumultuous relationships may contribute to public readiness to believe or entertain such allegations. Given Diddy's history of legal and personal conflicts alongside his high-profile status, any new allegation tend to be scrutinized within the context of his past. This backdrop can give such claims a veneer of credibility, at least in the court of public opinion. Regardless of the actual facts, it's essential to approach these allegations with a critical eye, considering 
exploring both the source and the broader historical context of Diddy's public and private life. While it's crucial to take any accusation seriously, it's equally important to ensure that claims are backed by substantial evidence before drawing conclusions. Diddy's complex personal history certainly colors public perception, making it all the way more necessary to see clarity and fairness in evaluating any new developments. Part 5 Immediately following the allegations, social media erupted. Supporters, skeptics, and critics all weighed in, turning personal tragedy into a public spectacle. In today's world, a single statement can ignite a firestorm of reactions. Diddy's situation shows just how quickly personal pain can be thrust into the spotlight. As we've seen, Diddy's journey is far from straightforward, with a legacy built on both beats and controversy. What's next for him? Can he clear his name? Or will these allegations cast a long shadow over his achievements? From superstar to center of scandal, Diddy's life reminds us that behind the headlines there are real stories of triumph and tragedy. Thanks for joining us on The Realm. Don't forget to subscribe for more stories and go beyond the surface.